So what are you doing? Uh, I am breaking disc. <laughs> cutting that metal. So scary. <laughs> it was scary. Huh? Uh, yeah. We uh, about lost our legs. Yeah, I just busted the disc. Oh really? Right there at the very end of it. Putting on the disc now. <laughs> <laughs> You so said, what are you cutting in out? Your, I was thinking, hope it ain't in my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you cutting out this? Uh, we'll make a jig for the A arms. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. actually, top one here. Okay, I'm gonna go away Deep now. Keep your distance. We're gonna cut this piece of uh, sheet metal and we can make a jig now for our A-arm so we can copy, copycat it. Now we need to make another set of A-arms and we need to do this back here. Start tying in that back cord. I want to stop the video real quick to make sure you guys know about the Windrock meetup. It's going to be on May 31st and June 1st. That's a Friday and Saturday at Windrock Off-Road Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. You can bring your go-karts, mini bikes, your buggies, anything. It costs $20 to ride for a day pass on the trails or $36 for a two-day pass. You do have to pay for camping as well. But if you just want to come meet us, hang out with us, there will be a schedule on social media and it's free to do that. So uh, if you just want to come out and see our builds and just talk with us, then that's free. You don't have to pay for nothing. But if you do want to ride on the trails, there is a fee to ride on them. Uh, check out on social media again, guys, to all the, the whole schedule of what time I'll be at the camp, what time we'll be riding. And uh, hopefully you guys can come. We're going to be giving away a ton of stuff. we got three or four engines to give away. I think it's four engines. We've got a mini bike. We got a ton of stuff we're giving away guys so it'd be worth your shot coming out and seeing if you win you do got to pay for the entries to win the stuff but it's real cheap and there's a lot of chances to win so uh come out guys hang out with us get to see this in person no matter where it's at in the build and we're gonna have a great time back to the video that's going straight yeah that's working now that's nice Much better. Much better. Okay, we'll make some new arms. I can't be smoking new arms. Perfect. Whoo, smoked out here. Got the door open. You can hear all the frogs out there. <laughs> the creatures. Bless them. God's creatures. 
There's still so much welding to do. I did not even 50%. Oh, I thought you got. Well, that everything's one. like half welded. Like one side's welded to everything. Boy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and and at home, I'm telling you, I've welded on that thing and welded on it. And I've got everything I can get. Now it's got to flip it upside down. Yeah. That's what I have to do with this, and I have to get it so far and then start laying in there and crawling around. I'm going to definitely wear sleeves when I do that. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I'll, I'll flip it over. I ain't going to lay in there and weld upside down and back. <laughs> Not me welding. Well, yeah, so I guess you have to pull the engine and everything. Yeah, I've got it. I did that last night. Oh. I've got the motor cage off of it, and the motor mounts out, and the transmission boats out. I just got to pull everything out tonight. So I'm going to tack these little standoffs Brandon made, little one inch standoffs that'll keep everything level so we can set everything back in there. You ready? I'm ready. Hammer down. Did you do that middle one? Yeah, we tacked it a little bit earlier. So now, I can go ahead and tack these I reckon. Got that hand joint. Yeah, it's straight. It's straight here. Okay. Let me just Ready? Go with it. You catch my brand new Under Armour shirt on the floor. Brand new. <laughs> you was when he bought it. I was there. Well. Someone said the other day, uh, that bit ain't gonna last no time not oiling it. I was thinking, shoot, I built two buggies with one bit before. <laughs> and they still eat. They'll, they'll eat. Yeah. You feed them, they'll eat. They do good. Hey, oh my gosh. Tell me to push. Okay, it's done. It's pretty dry. Are you not going to put a little thing up under it? Or you don't have any more? Brand didn't cut enough. Gosh, dang Look it. Calm down, Greg. I'm going to put these in the new ones. I'll put this back in and weld it in here. Huh? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do right. now? You're going to put these on Of course. Out. I was going to put these in the jig. New pieces. Oh. If you put enough tax on it, you wouldn't have to weld it, dude. No, I thought you were just like, I'm going to have to weld it too tall. <laughs> no. That's not what I was going to say. That brother didn't weld well, it. Quit. You tell him, Wally. Well, I lie. I'm the baby boy. You're hurting. You're hurting. Screw your hand joint all in, big dumb idiot. Looks like this is going on my buggy or something. It's close to fitting, but not quite. Why? I don't want to set nothing. There it is. Whoa! 
You're gonna break the jig. It's just tight. Is that in there? Yeah, it's in there. You ready? Blow it. Hmm? Blow it. Blow your moving stuff. <laughs> What else we got to weld? Behind to the pipe. Yeah, now there's one more right there. Those are a lot more square than the original ones. <laughs> so now what we can do, since this is a really square A-arm, uh, since we built this jig, is I can actually cut this whole plate off, the four little tacks, lay it on top after I fully weld this, and weld this plate onto this. This is going to be our new lowers. We can use these as our upper A-arms. But it's going to be a, it's gonna be nice having this on the shelf because we could possibly use these the same jig on other buggies eventually. Uh, it wouldn't work on a two-seater. On one-seaters, this would be a perfect little jig uh, to use. See how smooth that pulled out? It's nice. So these original A-arms we built uh, for our test A-arms are going to be our top A-arms. Uh, so we weld this brace in there. Now we have to put our mounts for this one to ride up there. And we have our, our new bottoms made that we made in our jig. So these are 100% level and square in every way. So these are going to work a lot better down here. We'll have our uppers above it and these should move on that three degrees uh, or five degrees of a tilt so uh yeah this jig come in handy like crazy now we can you know like i said before if we bend anything we have this jig already made in shelf and we can make notes on it of measurements and stuff uh, i did see a little pinhole i left two pinholes i need to uh patch up daniel's notching a piece of tube for the other upper a arm and where we cut this tube and kind of uh, made it work as an upper, we'll cap this off. I'm going to weld it all the way out and we'll just cap that completely off. It's going to look nice when I'm done with it. Alright fellas, uh, the buggy's coming along slowly but surely. Uh, I knew this was going to take a crazy long time. There's going to be a ton of episodes in it because I want to do everything in detail. I just don't want to time lapse the whole entire build. Uh, but when we get this buggy done, you'll see uh, one video of the whole build process, kind of like we did the four-seater. Uh, but we're getting along. Um, we got all the A-arms built now. Now we can finish up the front end, start building our knuckles, and then we can start doing our steering. Then we'll move on to the back section where we'll mount our Dana transaxle and uh, start making our engine plate uh, above the Dana. So stay tuned. Make sure to go to Go Power Sports and use those links. It's in the description below. 
uh, really the only thing I've been using on this buggy so far is tubing and heim joints uh, you can get those heim joints with the weld in bungs on eBay the links are in the description there will be some go power sports parts of course on this buggy later but for now it's just notching tube and welding tube and bending stuff so uh let me know what you think of the a-arm jig that's going to be real handy because we might be able to use these uh same a-arms on another buggy uh later on we are we got a lot of buggies planned we're going to do a two-seater with a gsxr 600 engine that i have it's a 2008 engine so it's fuel injection we may be getting a honda cbr 600 engine um, so we're going to do a two-seater for the GSXR and probably a one-seater for the uh, the 600 CBR engine. So stay tuned. A lot of buggies to be built. Uh, Grayson's getting his own little full uh, suspension little buggy. So a lot of stuff coming to the channel, guys. Let me know what you think of this build. Um, I think it's coming along great. It's going to be a lot of episodes. Sorry there wasn't a mini bike video today, but this buggy's been you know consuming my time. And I haven't had time to stop on it and go mess with a uh, mini bike. Well, we've got a lot of mini bike stuff coming. We're building another frame uh, very soon. We just got to get this buggy done and off the table. So let me know what you think of the buggy, guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. Um, we're at 140,000 subscribers now and still growing about anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 subscribers a month. And thank you guys so much for supporting us and allowing us to do this career. And it wouldn't be possible without Go Power Sports, of course. So make sure to go use those links in any of the videos because they do say that our videos are working and they keep us in business guys i've got some cool projects come to the channel so watch out for those and uh we love you and god bless